There is a creature on Earth that should not exist. It breathes air, it crawls across land, and it can survive outside water for days. This is not science fiction. This is the walking catfish. Native to Southeast Asia, the walking catfish looks ordinary at first glance. Slick skin, whisker-like barbels, a body built for water. But when its ponds dry up, this fish doesn't die. It leaves. Using its stiff pectoral fins like crutches, it drags itself across roads, fields, and forests, wriggling forward in slow, deliberate movements. Witnesses have reported seeing dozens of them crossing highways at night, their bodies scraping against asphalt as if fleeing something unseen. And here's the disturbing part. The walking catfish doesn't just survive on land and it thrives. It possesses a special organ called a suprabranchial chamber, allowing it to extract oxygen directly from the air, similar to lungs. As long as its skin remains moist, it can breathe without water. This ability has made it one of the most invasive species on the planet. In Florida, where it was accidentally introduced in the 1960s, the fish spread rapidly. It crossed land barriers meant to contain it. It entered canals, ponds, and private lakes. It consumed native species. It adapted faster than scientists expected. Some locals claim to hear strange wet sounds at night after heavy rains. Not frogs, not snakes, but something dragging itself through grass. Biologists warn never to touch one. The fish is aggressive, it bites, and it can survive long enough to attack predators that assume it's already dead. But what truly unsettles researchers is how unnatural its behavior feels. Fish aren't supposed to migrate on land. They aren't supposed to breathe air. They aren't supposed to defy the boundary between worlds, yet this one does. And it raises a haunting question. How many other creatures exist right now, evolving quietly, learning to survive where they were never meant to? Because the walking catfish isn't ancient, it's happening now. Evolution didn't wait millions of years. It adapted in real time. And somewhere in the darkness after the rain, something is still crawling forward, refusing to stay where nature told it to belong.